Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you a very interesting video. Today I'm bringing you three dividend stocks that are near its 52 week low. So let's get into the video. All right, if we take a look at my Robinhood account, I have $9,156 in my account over the week, not too bad, up 1.5. 1.51%, $135. Now, the stocks that I'm going to bring you is high dividend, well, decent dividend paying stocks that are near 52 weeks low. Now, B, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna do a market analysis of one of the stocks that I'm probably gonna buy um, next week. So stay tuned to the end of the video where I do a live market analysis of that ticker symbol of that stock. All right. So the first stock I'm going to bring you is Exxon Mobil. Uh, you should be familiar with Exxon Mobil, ticket symbol XOM. It's a gas company. They've been around forever since um, 1882 was when they were founded. And also the market cap is $288 billion. So this company is a very large company. It's been around forever. I'm pretty sure if you haven't got Exxon Mobil gas, then you pretty much walked everywhere your whole life. But um, on the day, Exxon Mobil is up 1%. It had a pretty decent week up point, uh, actually up this week 0.41%. But over the year, Exxon Mobil is at a, a steal of a price right now at $68.98. Uh, the beginning of the year, Exxon Mobil was up to $81.20. So it's down 17% on the year. It's very near its 52 week low. It's within 5% of its 52 week low. So if you guys want to get in on Exxon Mobil, it might be a steal to get, to get in right now. Uh, the dividend yield of Exxon Mobil is 4.74%. So it's over 4%. This market cap is well over 100 billion, over $200 billion. This company has been around since the 1800s. So um, there's a lot of good things for Exxon Mobil coming up in the future. Robinhood analysis says that 24% says buy. If you already hold Exxon Mobil, 72% um, says hold on to it, and 4% says sell. Now, if we look at the buy rating for Exxon Mobil, it clearly explains what's going on. Uh, Exxon is separating itself from peers that is focusing on cash returns to shareholders by increasing investments with the global, with the goal of doubling earnings cash flow by 2025. So this is a long-term investment. It can be a swing trade, but right now, if you buy Exxon Mobil in 2019, they're saying they're gonna double their cash return by 2025. So six years from now, five and a half years from now. So if you get in right now at this still of a price near its 52 week low, then you guys might be able to uh, double your dividend stocks in just five and a half years by buying Exxon Mobil. So this is one that I'm very inter interested in is Exxon Mobil. It's a dividend stock near its 52 week low. Okay, the next stop I'm gonna bring you is Sunstone Hotel Investors. So let's pull up that one. It's ticker symbol SOH, Sunstone Hotel Investors. Now this company has a dividend yield of 5.3%, market cap 3.3%. 02 billion and this company has been around since 1995 okay so if we look in at the last week it actually had a pretty solid week up 1.56 percent to 13 dollars and 67 cents but if we look at the yearly chart it's within um if we look at the yearly chart it's within nine percent of this 52 week low it just had a pretty solid week of one percent gain but still overall over the entire year, it is down 10.65% for the year. Now, this is a pretty good dividend paying stock at 5.3%, and you might be getting it for a steal at $13.67, considering early in the year, it was up to $15.33. So this is another uh, dividend paying stock that I might actually buy uh, at the opening of next week. If we look here, Sunstone there has been invested in. All right, so Sunstone has many big name brands in their portfolio, like the Hilton and the Hyatt. So, if you guys, you know the Hilton, you know the Hyatt, you know the other 
portfolio, the other hotels they have in their portfolio or other big name brands hotels. So this is one that's been around since 1995, dividend yield of 5.3% with a market cap of 3 billion. So you might be getting it for a steal at 10% down on the year. So let's get into the next dividend. And the next ticker symbol is G-I-L-D. So let's pull that one up right quick. G-I-L-D. Guilet Science. All right, this one is at $64, um, paying a dividend yield of 3.65%. On the year, I mean, on the week, it has a, ooh, an excellent solid week of 2.4% on the year. And this company is within 5% of its 52 week low. It started off the year at $73.27. Now it's down to $64, even down 14% on the year. And this company has a 3.65 uh, dividend yield. The market cap is 80 billion. And it's been around since 1987. All right, so few things about this company is Gilded Science achieved lots of growth in its HIV medicine and it still has a lot of potential to not only develop more products but expand, but expand into other parts of the world. In its most recent quarter, the bulk of the company's sales have come from the US market, 73% with Europe accounting for about 18% and the remainder coming from other international markets. All right, so despite positive results of their um, achievement in science, um, shareholders really haven't brought boom into this company yet. So over the last five years, it's down a lot. So it has, it's down 40% over the last five years. But with their new recent medical achievements and they're, they're trying to break into other markets besides the US and Europe, uh, you could be getting this company for a steal at $64 even with a dividend payout of 3.65%. If you made it this far in the video, now I'm going to do a market analysis of the company I'm most interested in to buy, and that is ExxonMobil. So let me pull up Thinkorswim, and we can get right into it. All right, I pulled up Thinkorswim, so let's get into a little market analysis over it. So this is how ExxonMobil have performed on the five-minute, uh, five-day chart. So the last week, it is up actually from the low of $66 all the way up to $69. So this week it had a pretty decent swing of 4%, but if we pull back and look at the yearly chart, one day, one year, we'll do a, a breakdown of our potential swing trade for ExxonMobil. Okay, so if we look at the yearly chart, we're gonna look, the low was $64.65, and over here on 10-8, October 8th, it got all the way down to $66.65. So let's draw a line of support right there. It is a very, very, very clear line of support at 66, around 66.72. All right, so this line of support, it got here, it bounced off, had a long 23% swing trade back in December and it bounced off this support again in $66 back in August, and it's looking like it's bouncing off this line of support again here in October. So if we're looking at swing trade here, it could swing, let's cancel that. If we're looking at swing trade here, it could swing all the way back up to the um, simple moving average of 11%. So let's say this is a line of resistance right here. It touched this line right here, got rejected, and it broke through, came back down, touched this line right here, rejected, and then it broke through, came right here, touched this line, and resisted, and fell down to the support, support, resisted again, support. So I'm looking to get in somewhere around here, right when the MACD cross, the blue line crosses the yellow right here. I'm looking for a buy and I'm gonna buy that all the way up until $75.56. And now I'm probably gonna take a couple of dividend payments here and there and then sell it and look for another good entry point or price. Or if you just wanna get in right here at around this 52 week low and wait until 2025 where they say that they're gonna probably double their income you can, but that is just a quick little market analysis. 
If you get in Monday, you have a potential growth of 8%. Um, you can set your stop loss right here of minus 4%. So you can have an 8% gain or a 4% loss. Make sure your percentage of gain always outweigh your percentage of loss. And do not ever move your stop loss. If you haven't seen my stop loss video, go check that out. I made that a couple of videos ago. But yeah, guys. So yeah, guys, I did a quick little market analysis, very, very simple market analysis of ExxonMobil, my entry points, my exit points, and my stop loss points. Um, I'm going to keep you updated on how I do on ExxonMobil. I see this company at a still right now near its 52-week low, and it's a pretty decent dividend paying stock. And everyone knows what ExxonMobil is. It's been around since the 1800s and the market cap is over $200 billion. So they do have the money to pay out 4% dividend yield to their investors. But other than that, guys, if you want to keep up with this, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe so you can keep up with my ExxonMobil trade. And comment down in the comment section if you have any swing trades that you guys are going to do in the upcoming weeks before the end of the year. But other than that, this is Zeke the Crypto Miner, and I'm out. Peace.